so I've started a separate brand, Comfort Community, and I would like to just put all my focus and energy on that, to be honest. And I thought, why not make a comfort calendar? Avocado on toast with bacon, and yes, those are blueberries, it works. You know, like, if I'm going for that Brick Lane Shoreditch vibe, you get me. What I hate about blog posts, fucking recipe blog posts, I honestly don't care about everything you have to say about it. Like, people literally find ways to make 10, 15 paragraphs about the dish before they actually give me the ingredients and the recipe. Hello there. Do you want to be in a video that I'm going to edit and would usually be on this channel, but it's going to be moved to my second channel called Comfort Community. I am currently casting for three episodes of People Describe There. We've got People Describe Their Endometriosis, People Describe Their Addiction, and People Describe Their Sexuality. So if you would like to film a video, get involved, write a post, do whatever you want to do, then please follow the link in the description. Thank you. Yo bitches, every time I look in this screen I just realise like how messy this back looks. I mean it, it does need a tidy but you know what I'm kind of over the exposed drawer look. Like I don't like it. Like, it, You know yeah it could look better if I made them more tidy but also it just looks very like just a lot. It just looks like a mess. Compared to the other side of my room, which looks a bit more put together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan. All right, anyways, hello. How the fuck are you? Welcome to whatever the fuck this is. I don't know what this is. It's a vlog, obviously. Will it be one day long? Will it be two days long? Will it be three days? Maybe it's a weekly vlog. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> calendars. The calendars have arrived. There was a fuckery with DPD. They attempted delivery last week, but they didn't because I was home all day. I mean, no one knocked on the door. <laughs> Anyways, so it's back now. It went back to the headquarters of the posting of the printing place. And then it went back to DPD and here we are. Hoping to the dear Lord above that these calendars, these ones are the wall calendars. So in the last vlog, I opened the desk calendars and um, they weren't perfect. Uh, I was going to order new ones to make them perfect, but I, go, I can't guarantee that. I ordered 15. I can't guarantee that 15 people are going to buy it. So I'm just going to sell these ones at a discounted price because they're still the same. It's just like on a couple of pages, like some lines are really close to the edge. But the wall calendars, they, sh they fucking, they really should be perfect because it's the same fucking design pretty much as last year. So it shouldn't be unparched. It should be fine. Also, I literally charged my camera all night and it's only got two two bars. All right, anyways, this is the moment of truth. This is the moment. This is the moment that will decipher my mood for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, we're off to a good start. Um, so if you've been here for a while, and if you know about my calendars, this is my fourth year making calendars. <laughs> Basically just started making calendars because I wanted a calendar, but I wanted one that I liked and I didn't like any of the other ones. I mean, some of them are nice, but I wanted it to fit my style. 
So I thought, all right, I'll make a batch, see if anyone buys them. And lo and behold, they did. And the people have been buying them for four years now. So, um, yeah. But they it has always been the crude calendar. So I've started a separate brand, Comfort Community. And I would like to just put all my focus and energy on that, to be honest. And I thought, why not make a comfort calendar? Because I want more people to be able to buy my shit as well. So why not make it a bit more... I say palatable, but I guess it's just more like, you know, open to other people. Because not everybody wants tits and vaginas, but some people still would like to buy something, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. So, okay. All right. This is, the, this is really the telltale moment. Why does it look bigger than last year's? Okay. Got off to a good start. Okay. The first thing I'm looking for to see if, if, if any of the things have been trimmed off the edge. All right. June is cutting it close, but it's all right. All right. Oh, July's cutting it close up here, but it's all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Okay. That is fucking great. That is really great. That is really great. I'm really happy with that. Okay, good. Thank the Lord above, because I would not have been able to handle that. <laughs> great stuff. Okay, so you know what this means. I can take it off pre-order on Etsy, and I can actually take some pictures and videos. You know what? Shall I do that right the fuck now? I want to get into doing voiceover work, so I would like to make my voiceover demo reel today. Um, basically, I've got down a few, you know, I'll explain it to you later. But I want to do that and I want to start, I want to make a good profile on Fiverr and Upwork for both voiceover work and video editing. So if you need a video editor, let me know because right now I am really just trying to maximise my monetization potential. That I want to really make the most money I can as a self-employed freelancing bitch. I don't want to work for anyone else. If you you don't know this, no one knows this yet, but I recently had a job. <laughs> I was there for two weeks. And um, it really just really made me realise, like I really wanted some stable income. But being there really made me realise how I actually really just don't want to work for someone else like it's, ugh, it's just not me i've done it for so long i've had 27 jobs and there's literally one for every year of my life <laughs> and i just i just need to get the hint do you know what i mean i just actually really i've never actually went gone like full force with my own stuff like i've not done everything in my possible anything i've not done everything in my capabilities to make sure I'm making full-time income I am quite lazy I can't lie and I just get demotivated a lot and I think you know having my office in my room really fucks me up so I would like to start doing some work downstairs in the kitchen um, but I need to get one of those laptop stand things because the table is really low and the chairs are like really like you know when you sit at a table and like the table is like all the way down so far down and you feel like you're so high up compared to the table anyways what am I talking about anyways all right I'm going to why am I so parched lord oh yeah I got sent um a box of goodies from who is it from shit who was it was it Layla? No. I 
can't remember who it was from. Anyways, in that box was this game called Play the Patriarchy. And it's actually, I haven't played it yet, but I've looked at the cards in that and it looks quite fun. It's like Cards Against Humanity. But. It's like. Not. <laughs> Anyways, alright. What am I going to do? Oh, yeah. Take pictures of the calendars. Why did I do that? I just thought, why not kind of show you what I'm doing? I don't even know what I'm doing, so I'm taking pictures. Well, I'm setting up to take pictures of um, the calendars. Um, the desk calendar is, is so I feel like it's going to be easier to take pictures of because it sits down, it sits down, it looks kind of cute, just wherever. But the wall one, it's just always just like so bland because it's just like on the fucking wall. Like that's my one for this year. It's just like on the wall, but so I've got my ring light on. I've not put it in angle yet, but basically I've got this little metal drawer and I'm putting the calendar on there. And then I've got my little, I love my little LED light. So I was thinking maybe I can make it look a bit cute and moody. So I'm going to change the color. This is honestly one of my best tech investments. I love this and it it just adds like a lot of va va voom, especially if it's like you know behind well okay this is not a good idea but do you know what I mean like you can see it behind but when I say it I'll probably look good. Anyways, if you want to know what one it is, it's this. Links in the description, affiliate link if you want to find it. Um and I could basically just change the colors so my comfort calendar, new colour themes, theme, colouring, colours, branding, the branding, colour, branding colours, brand colours, purple, green and orange, and yellow. So, perhaps, I might say it to purple. But, you know what I need to do, I think I should, I think I should, should I close the blind? I love these blackout blinds. Yeah. Is that purpley? Is that purple or not? I feel like it was quite. Oh, look. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see. It's not really giving what I was imagining, to be honest. It's not giving what I imagined at all. Why not? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I need a smaller ring light. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Perhaps I should lower the ring light. I don't know. I decided to um come in the bathroom because we've got green walls and we've got this little shelf here because I was trying to like make the picture more interesting and I managed to does the fucking hook up there luckily but it's not going I don't know we'll see I'm gonna turn the light on and see if it adds warmth maybe maybe that adds something I thought I might as well bring this one in here as well so I've got this set up as well, just in case I prefer this to the other ones, you know? Look, I'm not a photographer. I'm not skilled in product photography. But when you have your own little business, bitch, you, 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 you gotta do it all. You've got to do it or I tell ya. Anyways, I would like to share with you the best ever protein bar I've ever had. Um, so, I was at my friend's, I was, if you know Taylor, I was at Taylor's brother's shop. He has a supplement shop in Croydon called Jim Beast, Gang Gang. And they got in these new vegan protein bars from a comp company called Bear Bells. And I taste tested it on Instagram stories and tagged them and lo and behold they asked to send me some stuff so they sent me four all together so 
they've got two vegan flavours and they sent me two of each, basically. Um, they've got two flavours. This one is the hazelnut and nougat. Is it nougat, nugget, or nougat? Hmm, I wonder. And then they said, and then there's a salty peanut. Both of which are banging. This one is quite like a Snickers, but this one's my favourite one. Um, it's got 15 grams of protein in it, and Taylor said it's the best protein bar she's ever had, regardless of it being vegan. And her brother also said it's really, really good, and because whey apparently tends to make protein bars more dry and there's no way in this obviously no way no way there's no way anyways i thought i'll show you because this is honestly banging i wish they were paying me to talk about this i'd make a really sexy video for them but honestly it's so nice i reckon i'm gonna dip it in my tea is that weird I dip everything in tea, you know, not everything, but I dip, I even dip, whoa, I dip chocolate in my tea. Oh, it's so good. It's like, mmm. First of all, it just tastes like Nutella. And like, it's like nougaty, the texture. It's so nice. It does not taste like a protein bar. I don't even know how much these retail for. But if you can afford it to be buying protein bars, I know because protein bars are expensive, they're not cheap. Um, like in terms of if you're having like one a day, seven days a week. Obviously they're a great way to get in a bit of protein as a snack. Um These are the best ones I've ever had. I tried my vegan ones. I like my vegans other products. But I tried this one, like Bonoffi or something. Protein bar, it was fucking horrible. I did try one recently that Charlotte gave me um, from a company called The Protein Works, which is a brand ambassador for them. And it's called Spec, no it's not called Speculoos, what was it called? I remember one it was, but it was really nice. That one had a bit of caramel on it, but that's a lot less protein. This has got 15 grams of protein in the bar. It's really, I, honestly, I don't know how they've made it taste like this. It does not taste like a protein bar at all. Okay, maybe there's like a slight taste. Not when you do that. But other than that, I would just think this is just a, like a ch chocolate snack bar. It is really nice. I recommend to a friend. So you get on that. Anyways, I'm going to do this, chill for a sec. I'm going to upload the pictures I just took. Charge this camera. And prepare myself to film the other video that I'm going to do tidy in my room. Okay, bye. Yes, it may be five o'clock. And yes, this is probably, should be having dinner. But I've decided to have lunch. <laughs> um, You know, my day's gone a bit, you know, slower. I haven't turned on my room yet. But that's okay, I'm not going to beat myself up over it, you know, it is what it is, I've got some stuff done today, I'm still going to get stuff done, but you know what I mean, I'm going to have a lunch break now, so I'll be back to work in probably about an hour. <laughs> um, I've made avocado on toast with bacon, and yes, those are blueberries, it works. Um, this bacon is the Richmond bacon, um, it's vegan, obvs. Um, and Richmond, if you don't know, have great vegan products. Um, the first thing they brought out vegan was the sausages, which thank the Lord because Richmond was my favourite sausage brand before going vegan. And then they just started bringing out other stuff. So they got um, bacon and they got meatballs. Um, do they have anything else yet? But they have sausages. So they got sausages, bacon and meatballs. And honestly, banging, 10 out of 10. Richmond, work with me. I will promote you for life. So, just letting you know if anyone here knows anyone that works at Richmond. Hit a bitch up. Packing <laughs> paper. I have some... Just watching good old Grack. So, I was going to make like a clean with me video, because whatever. Um, but I really can't be bothered. 
Look how dusty my mirror is. Wow, I need to sort that out. You know what? I'm going to sort that out. <laughs> Should I do it right now? I will. Um, I was going to do the, the whole cleaning, but I really can't be bothered. Like, I can't be bothered to, like, set up the camera and, like, tidy my entire room without, like, listening to music and stuff because it will get copyrighted. Do you know what I mean? So I'm actually just going to tidy it now, but not fully, not all the way. I'm just going to put away my clothes on my bed because what I've been doing for the past few days is at night I've just been transferring them to this chair. <laughs> and then in the morning what I do is I... <laughs> I bring the chair like that to the bed and I just go boof. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. But right now I'm just gonna um sort that out. Also guys, don't ever buy this chair. I bought this chair because I saw fucking Megan Short had it in one of her YouTube videos and it's really nice to look at. Like it matches my pink aesthetic. However, it looks weird on camera, doesn't it? Love a colour. Why is it like that? Why is everything so yellow? Hold on. I feel like this is a better colour saying. Anyways, it's so uncomfortable. It's terribly uncomfortable. Like, literally, yeah, I've had to put these on here and that doesn't even do anything. It's literally, there's no, there's nothing. When you sit on it, yeah, your ass is feeling so sad. And like, even with these, I folded this blanket and I got this, even with that, it's fucking shit. And there's this issue with it, yeah? So basically I got, I managed to one time get it to be able to bounce, like, bounce back. But then every now and then it just randomly just says, no bitch, we're not letting you bounce back. And it just like goes straight like this. And then I can't figure out how to get it back again. And it's just a really stressful time, to be honest. Oh yeah, I shot the pictures for the calendars and that. And I didn't like them, but anyways, they're on the, they're on the internet now. Um... Yeah, there's a few things that, you know, it just, everything needs to be sorted out. Everything just needs to be sorted out. So, I'm going to, um, I'm going to watch Grack and I'm going to tidy. Fun times. Um, what shall I do with this calendar? Because it's not ready to go on the wall yet. But perhaps I'll just put it behind. Christ in my father. There we go, Bob's your auntie. Yeah. Oh, I can't be bothered for this, man. Brown paper. And I'm gonna do potato printing because I wanna make my presents look like mine. I wanna sprinkle that little bit of grackle touch on all my presents. Yeah. Maybe even make some tags, because I have some little cardboard um tags and I could print on those as well so they're my tags. Finished watching Grack. Now I'm watching Lavender, haven't watched her videos in a long time. Um, I just realised, I just found these jackets in the airing cupboard. I've gone through many a style, you know. I love this jacket. Will I wear it again? Maybe. I don't know. But, I'll tell you what I won't be wearing again. Oh, And that... I mean, maybe, well, maybe this jacket when I first got this jacket I loved it so much it is so warm it's a ski jacket no snowboard jacket says it on there I got this from a Chazza shop it's it's great but I'm just not really feeling the colors no more do you know what I mean like it is so warm though can I still rock this yeah, I can, innit? When I'm going for that, like... Wait, I could put you up higher. <laughs> you know, like, if I'm going for that Brick Lane Shoreditch vibe. You get me. You know what? Yeah, no, I will, I will keep this. 
Unless someone offers me £100. <laughs> Do you want it for a hundred pounds? I'll sell it to you for a hundred pounds, including the delivery. <laughs> I'm just running. I just don't have any space anymore. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Shut the fuck up. You know when you just talk so much shit, you just can't even. <clears throat> you just can't even with yourself anymore because you just talk so much. You know, you ever just annoy yourself, like get on your own nerves at like. You just literally tell yourself to shut the fuck up. Yeah, do you know them ones? Oh, I remember what I was going to do. I was going to write down some video ideas quickly. I'm about to change my sheets, but while I remember, is it while I remember or whilst I remember? I don't fucking know. While I remember, I'm going to write down the video ideas that I have. Beep -a boop. Where's my pen? I hate this pen so much. I hate it. Look, you look at this pen, yeah? It should focus on this, because this is what this camera is supposed to do. Forget my eyes for a second. There we go. Um, when you look at this pen, what end do you think it opens from? Hmm? I don't know why. I mean, if you ignore this part here, I don't know why, but I always think that it opens from this end for some reason. Every time I go to open it, I open it from this end. But it's a little cap on this end. And I just don't like this pen. Right, anyways. Video ideas. Did I already... You know, the problem with having a notebook and writing down video ideas is that I end up forgetting pages and then I start a new video ideas page and then I forget about the other ones. Uh. It's okay. Because on this channel now, I'm just going to do whatever I want. Regardless of whether I think loads of people are going to watch it. Do you know? Like, I'm just going to literally do whatever I want. Do you know how freeing that is? Do you know? Not doing whatever you want because, you know... That's not how you should live your life. You shouldn't live your life and based on what other people want from you. <laughs> I'm going to do what I want. And if you like what I want, then I guess it's for you. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, something I haven't had in a while. Do I look just that little bit prettier with this bit of hair? I think it makes a world of difference. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Do you know what I mean? I'm annoying myself. Um, what I haven't had in a while is kimchi. I haven't had kimchi in a long fucking... The last time I had kimchi was when I paid £5 for a tiny jar about a year and a half ago. And then before that, the last time I had kimchi was when I was working with Eat Chai, which is a vegan Vietnamese food place. And we used to make... I used to work with them in the um, kitchen, the industrial kitchen, and I used to, like, make the products that they would then take to the store and cook or whatever. Anyways, we used to make kimchi in, like... You know those massive containers? Big ones. We used to make it in that. And for the life of me, I can't remember all the steps. I know there's carrots and cabbage. <laughs> That's all I can remember. And go to John. I'm very blessed that... I am in a good distance from a wing yip, which is a Asian supermarket, and um, I can go and get all the ingredients. So basically, moral of the story is I want to make kimchi, but the bigger of the moral is I want to make it a video. So, making kimchi. With kimchi, you've got to let that bitch ferment for a while. How long does it need to ferment for, actually? I've got so many tabs open. Do you want me to show you? <laughs> I know when people get, like, they see snippets of your screen and then they see your tabs and they get, like, anxiety. But basically, that's how many tabs I've got open. <laughs> so I hope that didn't give you anxiety, but I need them there. Basically, half of them are Amazon links from um, Catherine Manning's video on... Amazon must-haves for YouTubers. A couple of Etsy tabs, quite a few YouTube videos open because I want to watch their like videos on um, doing voiceovers. And then most of the other tabs are Fiverr and Upwork. 
Anyways, none of your fucking business. Why did I need to explain that to you? Oh yeah, what was I doing? Making how how long is it? <sighs> You know when you just do too much, just slow the fuck down. Making kimchi. Why did I type in making kimchi? Why didn't I just do kimchi recipe? Why is kimchi bad for you? It's not bad for you. Oh my god. The bacteria used to ferment kimchi are safe to consume. However, if kimchi is not properly prepared or stored, the fermentation process can cause food poisoning. Okay, well, I shall make sure that I do it correct. Is it worth it to make your own kimchi? How, oh, that's it. How long do you have to leave kimchi to ferment? Pack the mixture into a large container or jar for storage. Oh yeah, I need to get a big container. Making sure to seal it properly. Let the kimchi ferment for at least three days at room temperature or up to three weeks. Okay, cool. Making kimchi. Oh, kimchi is so nice. If you've not had kimchi, Oh, get to know, it's so, so delightful. You know what, I just really like, like, um, fermented things. Um, oh, I also need to get some more pickled mustard leaf. I get that from Women Ewing Yip. Basically, it's just, I really just like pickled things. Like, there's this dish that I make. Dish. <laughs> it's my go-to recipe. I just make mince, like, with no sauce, just the mince meat, vegan ofs. And I just, I cook it with... Hello. I cook it with that fucking word search game. I need to turn off the app notifications. It's driving me insane. It will just pop off at any moment and I'll be in bed and then the screen just lights up the whole room. Anyways, what's I saying? <laughs> Shit. Oh yeah, mince meat. I mean, I just cook it, I fry some onions and then put the mince meat in it. And then it's a soya protein mince. I don't know if mince meat makes it sound clapped. Then I put some soy sauce in it and just cook it. And then I have that with rice um, and then I cook broccoli and cabbage or whatever I have. And then I make like a little salad with tomatoes, cucumbers, and then I chop up the pickled mustard leaf. The pickled mustard leaf, honestly, it's making me like, it's so good. Like it cuts through, like for example, like I made the, the pro, the mince a little bit too salty, but it was okay because the mustard leaf just, Cut through that bitch. I need to get some sauerkraut as well, to be fair. Wait, I don't care about what, you know what, you know what I hate about the internet? Is when I'm looking for a recipe and I go on to this blog post, you know, what I hate about blog posts, fucking recipe blog posts, I honestly don't care about everything you have to say about it. Like, people literally find ways to make 10 15 paragraphs about the dish before they actually give me the ingredients and the recipe like put the ingredients and the recipe first and then if whoever gives a fuck about your story about your relationship with this dish then they can do that okay what other videos do I you know what use this as an opportunity to comment down below any kind of video you would like me to do anything Literally anything. Oh, I want to do crafting video. Oh, yeah. I want to paint. I want to do a painting video. I've got something that I need to paint. Painting video. Um. Alright, that's enough now. I need to get up. My knees are not what they used to be. I've not got Megan knees. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, I need to change the sheets. You know what? It's okay if you haven't changed your bed sheets in a month. It is okay. I'm mean, Honestly, it's okay. Um, you know when like your sheets just like they just don't feel like clean anymore like they actually my sheets don't feel clean they just don't even feel clean at all there's nothing about my sheets that feel clean and you know what's also really annoying is that for some damn reason the sheet like it's just been gathering it's just been gathering and it's just going on my fucking tits to be honest I really wish that I had this bed sheet times two because I love it. I love it. 
I really love like gradient vibes. You know what? I'm finally gonna paint my bedroom door. And you know what's actually prompted me to do it? <laughs> this is TikTok trend. I'm gonna get back on TikTok by the ways. By the ways. Um, because I miss it, it's fun. The reason why I don't make TikToks anymore is because I just fucking hate my phone. <laughs> no, okay, look. I don't hate my phone. For those of you that don't know, I have a Huawei P30 Pro. It's a great phone. It's a great phone. The only, only oh no, not the only, there's like two or three issues that I don't have like with it. But the biggest problem for me is the camera. The back camera is great if you're taking pictures outside in natural and full light and you're taking pictures of flowers or bees or animals. But when you're taking pictures of people or selfie camera, it's fucking awful. Why have Android done that? Like, why have they made it so that when you're recording something, you, or no, like, on your selfie camera, that it completely blurs your face? So basically what I need to do is turn on my iPhone, see if I'm happy with that quality, and then go from there. I could film TikToks on my iPad, but it's just a bit big, do you know what I mean? But I'm not as big of an Apple whore as I used to be because I realised that this is a 128 gigabyte phone for £44 a month. Whereas with my iPhone previously, it was a 32 gigabyte phone for £56 a month. That that was really all it was that took me to switch over because that's just mad. Do you know what I mean? Okay. First things first, I take off. That's just true. I take off the duvet. Just dash the pillows there. Rip off. Oh my god, there's a spider. You fucking bastard. You see, this is what I'm saying. You can't. Oh, I don't want to kill it, but I'm gonna have to. Goodbye. Ah! I don't, I honestly don't kill spiders, but you know when like they're the really skinny ones, sometimes I'm like, okay, it's just easier to kill you than not to. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't want to hear any vegans talking shit. <laughs> okay, because I normally always let them live. Look, on my windowsill I've had a glass and a fucking paper there all this time because I've been preparing myself. Oh, I love this mattress. You know what? There's a pair of shoes that I want to get out from under the bed. Where are they? No. Oh, this is such a great mattress. Emma, Emma Mattresses, if you're listening, can we work together? You know what? I'm going to fucking email them. I'm going to fucking find their PR email right the fuck now because I genuinely love that mattress and I would like to work with them. <laughs> Sheet. Sheet. I would like some new bed sheets. But it's, again... One thing that I've realised lately, well actually, I actually heard someone say it. When it comes to buying things, you really need to find that line between what it is that you want and what it is that you need. Who was it? Sorrel Moore. I'm really trying to save money now. And I've really been... I've been trying to save money, but then I've been doing stupid things that completely like don't align with trying to save money like spending money on things that i don't need i would just want like yeah i needed a tracksuit no i didn't <laughs> i wanted a tracksuit did i need a fucking tracksuit no no i didn't do you know what i mean Oh, 
this is going to be, this is going to happen again, I know it. The bed sheet's going to all wrinkle up. I hate that, I hate it, but why does that, I need to, do I need, maybe I actually need like different sheets, is it called fitted? I thought these were fitted sheets, but apparently they're fucking not because they fucking wrinkle up. Do you know what I mean? Also, there was a spider that was living over here a few weeks ago, and then it's just moved and it's never to be found again. I've not looked for it, but, you know, why would I do that? That's just asking for it. You're dying for it! Yeah, maybe I am. Maybe I fucking am dying for it. Did you ever think about that, did you? Oh, it's moments like this where you just tell yourself to shut the fuck up. Shut up. Did I ever tell you about the time that I was laying in bed and I literally heard a noise down by down the side here like i heard a noise and i looked down and it was a spider about this big like a chunky spider and the noise that i heard was it walking over a bit of paper <laughs> how fucked is that you're laying in bed and you hear a noise and it's because a spider is so fucking heavy that it made a sound as it walked over the fucking paper that's terrifying Luckily for me, I'm not scared of spiders anymore, unless, unless it's like, there's like, oh, I don't want to say it. Unless there's a big one with loads of little babies. I can't deal with that. I will not deal with that. That's when I call mother dearest to help. And I don't deal with any other insects. Spiders, I had to because my mum was getting seriously annoyed. And also my partner, my ex-partner, was terrified of spiders, like really terrified. So one of us had to like toughen up, you know? So. Okay. I would just like you all to pray for me in that my sheets don't start doing this. Do you know what I mean? All right, anyways, I'm gonna listen to some music now for the rest of this. Peace.